Hi everyone. So today we'll see uh, one more uh, important topic, uh, which we frequently use in uh, real-time projects, and also which is important for the interviews. What is list file approach? Okay. So they can ask like a question like, what is a list file approach or file list approach? Or they they, they can ask in three ways. One is can you explain what is the list file approach or else file list also same file list approach and third one what is indirect load okay so these three are same or else if they directly ask if they want to ask scenario they can, yes they can ask so if they want to ask theoretically like this, they can ask, suppose I have a requirement, I have a same structure. Same structure, I have 100 files, okay? I don't want to create 100 mappings, just want to load with one mapping, one mapping. This is another question. So all these four, only one answer. So all four are same only. Okay. So if you have same structure, okay. So I don't want to create multiple mappings for that. So how can we proceed? Okay. So for this one, so let, let's see how to explain this. So what is a list file approach? So list file approach is nothing but if you have a files with, remember it's not tables here, it's a files. So files with same structure, okay? Let's see, I have a file A, file B, and file C. So this file belongs to Bangalore, or as you can assume like a Bangalore employees data. And this is like a Hyderabad employees data. And this is Chennai employees data, okay? I can assume like a TXT, let's assume like this type B. Yeah, remove this. So I have a let's assume three files we have. Similar way, you have a number of files, like we have a Pune, we have a Burka, like different locations, let's say yeah, Mumbai. You have a number of files like that. I'm just taking three as an example. Okay, so here, so usually what we do, if it's like a direct mapping, okay, so you take this as a source. Correct. Right. We take the source. Okay. Then you use some transformations in between. Then you have a target. Okay. Session level, what you do, you give the source name as this one. So the file type will be is a direct. That means we are consuming a direct file and loading the data into the target system. So if you want to load the Hyderabad data, then again you have to create one more mapping. The file name should be HYD. In similar way, for Chennai also it should be different. So each file you will have a separate mapping. Correct? That is what the approach what we follow. Let's assume for all these three files having a same structure. But the point, key point you remember, the file structure is different, we cannot process here. The structure is same, okay? But the files comes from the different locations or it having a different data, but structure is same, let's assume. So how to load this data to target by creating one mapping? So you will create one mapping, let's assume is employee data. So you have a source, you have a target in, in between some transformations used. Some transformations. Okay, so what is exactly this list file approach does? So as I explained now, if you want to load this data, so you, you will have one mapping. For this, you should have separate mapping. For third source, also you need a separate. So I don't want to use such kind of approach. 
I need only one mapping, but it should consume all this files. But only the key point here is they said, okay, it, it is having the same structure. In entry, if they confuse also, suppose let's see it if you don't have a same structure, then what you have to do? This approach it won't work. If you have a same structure, then you may go with this approach. So what you have to do is you have to create a single mapping and you have to go to the session. Session, you have an option called direct and indirect. So direct, as everyone knows, that is like a one-to-one -one mapping. So we have a source. We are providing a source uh, information and loading the target. That means it's directly consuming this file. Now I have three files in my source location or source file directory. I want to, at a time, consume all these three files and I want to load it. So how can we do that? So you have to select an indirect approach. So where you have to select, you can see here, you have to go to the mapping, select that particular source. See here, source file type. Usually it will be direct. Select that indirect. Okay, that means whenever you select indirect, okay, the source name will be like this. So earlier you have given like this, right? Direct source name you have given, you consume it. But we are going to consume all the files together. So, then you can create a file called, I'm just giving, you can give any name. I'm just giving the like name, like this, list file. Okay. So dot, let's assume txt. I have created a list file. Okay. In that you have to provide all these three file names inside the list file. Okay. So if you want to automate this one, then we have a unique script concept. So by using unique script, you can update the source table names directly to this list file. Suppose I don't want to use this uh, Unix script manually, I have to process it. Then you can manually specify the all the files. So suppose you have 10 files. What your team will send is just create a indirect file approach, load all the files at the same time. Don't create multiple. Files. That's what they, they told you. If they want to automate it, yes, you can go to, sorry, you can create some Unix script and based on that, you can update this list file. But the requirement is, they said, I have 100 files. I don't want to create 100 mappings. I want to execute all together. So what you can do, all the source files, whatever you have in the source file directory, just get all the source file names and there inside a list file, you just place all the file names and also don't forget to provide a path. Suppose it's a Informatica. Okay, some SRC, some directory. Okay, so what it means? So this is the path. This file is available. So inside the list file, you have to mention like this. What you have to mention? The path also you have to mention. So then only it will identify that. If you don't mention the path, right? Absolutely, this particular list file doesn't know where this file exists. So you have to provide the path like this. So this file name should be provided here. Where? So after indirect, source file name will be there no source file name you have to provide source file name you have to provide that particular file which file this one this you have to provide okay so once you provide this then only whenever you run that whatever the files sorry file names available inside this list file it will consume else it won't consume so this we call as indirect approach. That means not only three. If you have like multiple files also like this, 100 files also, yes, it will consume at one time and load the data into target. Suppose this is having 1000 records. This is having 10K records. This is having like 20K records. So you don't bother about whatever it is. So just 
it will take this file and load the data like one by one. So all the files, whenever workflow completes, it will push all the data to the Carnex system. That means you have a number of files, but you ran only one time. And also you have only one mapping for all. So usually what we do, we create multiple mappings if it's a direct approach. But it's an indirect approach, we create only one mapping, but we load multiple files data into target system. So you can take this type of example. Suppose I have a, if anyone asks me to interview, so this question, so I have a file with different locations. It is having a data. So this is like a structure of the particular files is same, but the file comes from the different locations. Suppose example, this is a Bangalore, this is Hyderabad, this is Chennai. So like different locations I have, so I'll get like 10 to 15 files to the source file directly. Whenever I run this list file approach, so it consume all the files at a time it loads the data. So here, what are the advantages? One thing is you are not creating multiple mappings. And second thing is it saves a lot of time, right? Because instead of running that multiple mappings, you are one shot, you are loading all the files and you are loading into the other system. So only key point you have to remember here is when this works, if you have same structure, okay? If you don't have a same structure, automatically workflow get fails. So if you have such concept, interview you also if they ask list file approach, all these things. So when, if they ask this question, no, you can just check with them. If they say that I have hundred files, they're not specifying about structure. So I have a hundred files. I don't want to create multiple mappings. I want to get one mapping, how to do that. Then, then you have to ask a question whether the structure is same or not. If the structure is same, then you have to follow this approach. If the structure is different, then it, this approach won't, it won't work. Okay, so that is about the list file approach or file list approach or indirect file load. Or if directly they can ask a question like this. Suppose I have a hundred files with same structure. I don't want to create multiple mappings. Can you explain? how to create one mapping and I want to load all the data. So you can explain this approach. So that is all for today. So this were very important. So we, uh, we frequently use this concept in uh, projects and also which is important for the interviews. So I hope it's clear for everyone. So we'll see the next session with different topic. Thanks everyone.